What lenses should you buy first for video? That's what we're talking about today, because since I've started my channel, I've bought a lot of lenses myself. Some companies have also sent me some excellent lenses, but just because it's an excellent lens doesn't mean that it's the lens that you need. So that's what we're gonna try to figure out today. What's the lens that you need? Okay, guys, look, first of all, there's no such thing as the best lens. That doesn't exist. What lens you should use depends on your style as a filmmaker, but also on the type of project you're working on. You know, all those things. So keep that in mind. Ideally, you should have a whole range of focal lengths and zooms and prime lenses, but you got to start somewhere. So let me go over my favorite lenses and I'll tell you the pros and cons for me. And then hopefully that will help you to decide what lens you should buy next. Or maybe you're about to buy your first lens. So let's start with prime lenses. Now, what are the advantages of primes? Well, usually they have wider apertures, so they let in more light, which makes them a better choice if you're shooting in low light conditions. A wide aperture also allows you to get a shallower depth of field, so a more blurry background. They're light and small, and usually image quality is also a little bit better, but of course that also depends on the overall quality of the lens itself. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, then you know that my favorite, my absolute favorite prime is a 35mm on full frame. On an APS-C camera, you should look at something like a 22 to get the same angle of view because of the crop factor, you know? Um, but yeah, I love how it looks. It doesn't distort the image too much because it's wide, but not too wide. So I think it's the best all-round prime. But here comes the but, because there's always a damn but. Look, a 35mm, a lot of people put it in the wide-angle category, but no, it's not a wide angle. For me, it's not a wide angle. I've been using 35mm since the start of my career and I can tell you, if you shoot a lot indoors, you'll be up against the wall, like this, like... All the time, because, you know, in tight spaces, small spaces, it's just not wide enough. So indoors, it's not such a great all-round lens. Also here in the studio, for example, a lot of people ask me what I'm shooting with and usually it's my 35mm on full frame or the 22mm on my APS-C camera. But that's because I have a lot of space here. I have 4 meters behind me, even more in front of me. So, you know, I can put the camera wherever I want. But if your studio is 3x3 three three meters, for example, then a 35 it's gonna be tight and you won't be able to get those nice wider shots. You'll be limited. So if you shoot a lot outdoors, then a 35 is a great all-rounder because it looks amazing and outdoors you have all the space you need, so no problem. But if you're an indoor shooter or you're looking for a prime that you can use everywhere, outdoors, but also in tighter spaces, then I would go for a 24 millimeter or maybe even a 20. And all of you APS-C shooters should look for something like a 15mm. I'll link a few good options in the description. So a 35mm is my favorite because of the look that it gives me, but it's a bit limited when it comes to where you can use it, because it's wide, but not super wide. I wouldn't put it in the wide angle category. So if I had to pick one prime to start with for video, it would be a 24mm. I also have an 85mm, which I absolutely love because it looks amazing, but I only use it in very specific situations for video, so it shouldn't be on your list as one of the first lenses to buy. I think an 85 is a great option if you already have a zoom lens, for example. So let's talk about zoom lenses now. For my APS-C camera, I have the 15 to 35 millimeter. That's the equivalent of, I think, 24 to 70 on full frame. It's a classic focal range, 24 to 70, it's a classic. And look, if you want a versatile lens, then 24 to 70 is as versatile as it gets. Now, one of the downsides of zoom lenses is the aperture, because cheaper zoom lenses usually don't have super wide apertures. And on top of that, you can only use the widest setting when you're completely zoomed out. For this lens, for example, 15 to 45 millimeter for my Canon M50, I can set it at 3.5 when I'm zoomed out, but when I zoom in all the way, the widest I can go is 5.6. 
So if you want the same maximum aperture over the whole zoom range, you're probably gonna have to look at the more expensive lenses. Now, that being said, if I had to start all over with just one lens, it would be a 24 to 70 2.8. It wouldn't be a prime. 24 to 70 is, it's as versatile as it gets. And you don't need anything longer like a 150 or 200 milliliter, milliliter, a 200 millimeter. I have a, I have a, a 200 milliliter lens. Look, this is a 200 milliliter. <laughs> oh God, stupid jokes. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, right. So you don't need anything longer like a 150 or a 200 uh, unless you're a wildlife shooter. And guys, you know, you don't have to look at Sony or Canon. Look at Tamron because they're making great 2.8 zoom lenses. I have this 17 to 28 millimeter and it's amazing. I love it. But you know, the thing is 17 to 28, it's a wide angle zoom. So it's not as versatile as the 24 to 70. I use this for, well, exclusively for vlogging actually. So if you're a vlogger, then the 24, no, the 17 to 28 is a great choice. No doubt about it. The great thing about super wide lenses for vlogging is that you don't have to stretch your arm all the way. And yeah, it makes a difference, trust me. But yeah, so if you're looking at primes, if you want to buy your first prime, I would look at 35 or 24, depends on what kind of shooter you are, you know? And on an APS-C camera, that's a 15 or a 22 millimeter. And zoom lenses, definitely something around 24 to 70. On APS-C, 15 to 45. That range pretty much covers everything. So if you don't need those super wide apertures, 1.8, 1.4, then definitely go for the zoom lens. And vloggers, go wide. Not fisheye wide, but you know, 17, 16, perfect. Okay, that's it for today because I keep rambling on. I can feel it. I, I have too much energy and I keep going. I could talk for hours about all these lenses, but I just, uh, I'm gonna stop talking now. I think that's, that's the best for everyone. Um, if you want more of me talking, then just tune in for the next video. Walking down with the suits and ties, just sitting in the crowd, smoking big cigars. I